this video. This is the original uh, roof line and they've extended another house there. Uh, extended yeah. the building. It is unusual. It has a dress circle that's um, uh, two thirds the size of the stalls area. So, um, if you take out the front foyer, the stalls area in this theatre is actually quite small, whereas the dress circle, which extends right to the front of the building, is very large. And that's where the main capacity of the building is. Um, you can see all around you the remains of the um, uh, of the retail installation that occurred post-1966. Um, this place was a very popular retail destination that used to sell denim and men's and women's fashion. And what's the name of the company? Eastman's. Eastman's. It's actually, the retail overlay is quite interesting, really, because yeah. I remember as a teenager coming in here and all of this was, in fact, open. And you would walk in here and this mm. light fitting was suspended there and there was a catwalk that came out from the stage. But then in the 80s, I think that's when this concrete wall may have been put in, it was entirely enclosed. So when you came in, you had no idea you were in the theatre building at all. But um, prior to that, they had used the theatrical side of the building to have fashion parades and things like that. <coughs> Hence these coloured lights. And that, as I was saying, that sh this neon chandelier that they've just left when they've come in and totally enclosed it, which is what this framework is here. And we've removed a lot of the cladding of that framework to open it up. And there's also another exit off the dress circle which goes from the front of the dress circle down through the back of house and out onto Theatre Lane. So, mm. so that so would that's be like the end of the That's probably exit. what you've yeah. seen. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you've seen... I you one would have been to the fly tower. They're close. Yeah. It's actually one of the few places in the building that's actually... That, that level of deterioration is noticeable. Mm -hmm. The rest of the building, the floors, and you might have noticed walking on the stage, is very, very solid. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, so beautiful, it's but it's good to see. Yeah, yeah. that's a house yeah. carpet. Yes. yes. They would have put in probably the 60s. Mm. Very, very characteristic. Mm. <laughs> it? Yes. So we can walk across here. Uh, oh, look at this. Yep. Yep. No, no, one at a time. So this is the staircase we saw.
amp and staunch and setup. Terrific. So not I love even it. mechanical, it's just I love it. direct, yeah. Um, you can see the, um, the uh, fire curtain here. Yep. And there's also a drenching system up the top, I believe. I haven't really quite make that out. Yeah. Um, yeah, and there's another, another gallery across there, which would be the top of the proscenium arch. Yes. Yeah, there. What you don't see below you is the stage. What you see below you is the ceiling mm, of yes. that space that we went to when we were in the The ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what can I say? You do have a paint frame over here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Been painting cloths, yeah. stage oh, cloths. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Um, so this is the high yeah, point yeah, of the right. building, Gordia. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. This, 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 it's one of the few yeah, area. substantial things. There's a few mechanical bits and pieces and yeah. some of the air handling equipment that's in this in this hall here. That gives it some sort of uh, you know vintage or